Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Roxana and in today's video I wanted to share with you 25 anime related patterns that you can make. So for this first video on the subject I chose 11 themed which are related to anime or just Japanese animation or just Japanese stuff. Um, but in the future you could tell me which one is your favorite uh, anime or manga and uh, what kind of character you would like for me to find uh, patterns. So I have at least one pattern in each category and sometimes patterns are free, sometimes they are paid. But I'm going to go through them and tell you when it's the case or when it's not. Okay, so let me start with a pattern from Spy Family, which is the pattern of Mr. Chimeru, which is the plushie uh, that Anya has. This is a free pattern by Wonder Crochet, and you can download this cutie, the pattern for this cutie, on her website. Everything's gonna be linked in the description below in the order in which I'm presenting them, so. So I'm going to move on to Senryo characters now. So first I found this Hello Kitty keychain pattern, which is a free pattern that you can find on YouTube. And it's a small pattern, but I guess that if you were to make it with velvet yarn, you would have a decent size Hello Kitty head, if that's what you're into. Then I have two other patterns by Wonder Crochet. The Kirupi pattern as well as a My Melody pattern. They are both free from her blog and you should definitely check out what she makes. She has lots of stuff. Here's a rabbit. Her name's Aika, if you wonder. After that, I have a pattern to make a cinnamon roll and it's a pattern that I designed and that is on sale on sale um, that is on sale on sale it's on sale on my Etsy website etc finally for the um, Sanrio characters we have a bomb bomb pudding which is a pattern by Tita Bunny Dot ENG. It's a free pattern on her Instagram and I haven't made it yet. So this is everything for the Sanrio part. Um, now we're going to move on to uh, One Piece and again I only have one pattern but if you want more just tell me in the description which, which characters you would like me to find and I'll happily do that in the uh, next video. So the pattern I have is the chopper pattern and it's actually one of my patterns as well it's currently not available it's still being tested but um once it's out i'm going to link everything in the description for you to uh, get your hands on this pattern we can obviously move to the pokemon section um, and I'm going to start by presenting a few patterns from Aradia Toys on Ravelry. All these patterns are free and I am only presenting two but there are several more. So first there is the Pikachu pattern, it's absolutely adorable. On the picture, I don't know if it looks like it's small, but in reality, if you make it with velvet yarn and a 6 or 7 millimeter crochet hook, you're gonna find yourself with a big plushie so definitely keep that in mind especially for the amount of yarn that you're gonna use I made an Oddish which is the second pattern I wanted to show you and she's eating a box as I was saying this Oddish is also from Aridia Toys and it was on a, the picture, the presentation picture small like it feel, it felt like it was small but with velvet yarn it turned out quite big it's like a decent sized um, amigurumi almost like I guess 30 centimeters 
so I think it's very cute. Then I also found three super cute patterns by AFID, A P H I D 777. And this time it was on DeviantArt. I don't know if you know the kind of website or blog stuff, DeviantArt. And so they have a Raichu pattern, which is very cute, like baby Raichu, baby sleeping Raichu. And I definitely want to make one. They also have a baby Espeon, a baby Sylveon, and I believe many more. Um, but I don't know if they have the pattern for it, like written on the blog, but they do have others and they are all free as well. So lots of free patterns to make lots of Pokemons. If that's what you're interested if that's what you're interested in. Finally, for this part, um, we have a Pokemon bag uh, by Ami Amor. Uh, and this is also a free pattern since it's on YouTube and it's basically a Pokeball bag. After that, let's move on to the Kibli Studio um, patterns. And I'm going to start with a Totoro patterns by Pemeami Shop on Etsy, so it's a paid pattern, but it's absolutely adorable. I also found another Totoro and Friend uh, pattern, which is free this time from Ami Amor again, and you can download that from their Ravelry account. Next pattern, we have Gigi the cat from Kiki's Delivery Service, and so Actually, this is not really Gigi pattern, like a Gigi cat pattern, but it's a black cat pattern and this pattern always reminded me of Gigi. So it's free, I'm putting that right here. And it is by Sunnies.Crochet. It's on her Instagram. Finally, for this part, we have Haku from Spirited Away. And this is a pattern by Miss Bajo Collection and it is a paid pattern and you can download it from her Etsy. After that we can move on to Nintendo patterns. So it's not really anime or Japanese themed, it's like video games, Japanese video games. So I felt like it was okay since we also have Pokemon which is kind of a video game as well so let's put on a few Nintendo patterns as well here. So on Nintendo I have one Zelda Breath of the Wild pattern or Tears of the Kingdom nowadays out there but I have a Korok pattern, no I don't have a Korok pattern, I bought a Korok pattern by Elizetta Crafts I think they are absolutely amazing. It's a it's a paid pattern and you can see on the description they made like a lot of different small uh, corks. But if you make it with Philbeck yarn, you end up with this gigantic cork. What I love about this pattern is that you can obviously customize the colors here and they also included, I believe, six types, five or six types of leaves to make like an infinite amount of combinations and different products. Still on the Nintendo uh, family, we have some Animal Crossing New Horizon patterns and I'm going to start with this bell bag that uh, I designed. It's not a uh, like a real bag. It's like a plushie that works as a bell bag. And the pattern is not out yet, but it is at the end of the testing period. So in a few days, it's gonna be available. And if it is, the link is gonna be in the description if you want to buy it. After that, I found a fossil ornament 
like Christmas decoration on Ravelry. I don't remember if it's a free pattern or a paid pattern, but I found it really cute and it's supposed to be small, but again, once more, if you use big yarn, you're gonna end up with a big fossil. I think this is everything for the Animal Crossing Horizon stuff. And I also found two other free patterns for Mario and Luigi on Ravelry by Crochet Pink Pumpkin. And I also found a Kirby pattern by Haru Crochets on Instagram. Next theme, I have one pattern for the anime Chainsaw Man that I have to admit I haven't watched yet, but um, I have a Pachita pattern. So this pattern is available on my Etsy, on my shop. After that, I found patterns to make the magical cats from Sailor Moon. So we're going on another theme. And this is by uh, Nerdy Hook. And this is a paid pattern that you can find on their Etsy page. Finally, last but not least, there is a pattern on the theme Bee and Puppy Cat. I found a pattern of Puppy Cat by Eskianolvia. Eskianolvia. And this is a pattern that you can buy on their Etsy page. I think we just went through all 25 patterns. So I guess this is the end of this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like, it helps a lot. Um, please feel free to write in the description which anime or Japanese theme character you would like um, for me to find in the future and I'm gonna make a next video with uh, all your ideas and I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a very nice day. Bye!